Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Jendi Productions. Na kama kawaida mimi ni Jendi na kama huja subscribe kwenye channel yetu tafadhali subscribe. Siku ya leo siku anajua kuwa wasichana wanapitia mambo mengi. Na ni kweli kuwa wasichana wanapitia mambo mengi. Ili mtu aweze kufika mbapo ako amepitia challenges. Na wakati ambapo tunaweza kuwa tunaongea na Jendra Wamboi aliweza kutaja kitu. Na alipotaja tuliweza kuona hiyo kitu alikuwa so emotional na nikamsihi sana nikamconvince sana aweze kushare na sisi hiyo story do hiyo story iweze kuguza hata wazazi na wengine pia ili watu wajue yale ambayo watoto wengi wa kike wanayoyapitia na bila kupoteza wakati nataka tuende kwa gender boy ili tuweze kusikia from the horse's mouth gender karibu sana Uh, kwa wale ambao hawajaja watch hizo video zingine nataka uji introduce and then uh, tuendelee kutoka hapo. Okay, mimi mimi ninaitwa Jendra Wamboi. Yeah, na mm -hmm. um, na niko na YouTube channel pia. Yeah, you can find my videos hapo hivyo. Um ninajiita Jendra Wamboi bado. Okay, sawa. So Uh, nataka tuanze uh, utuambie history yetu inaanzia wapi Okay ilianzia nikiwa shule form 2 Okay that was on 20 It was on 20 13 hapo Okay 2014 Um uh, nataka utueleze kila kitu venye ilianzia um, it started um, nilikuanga a certain school from form 1 um, first term and second term then it was wasn't good because shule ilikuwa chini so i had to be transferred to another school so when i went to the other school nikapata nikapata zin ni kila kitu zina hapo sikaenda place nyingine mpaka utapata vitu zikiwa tofauti at least uko hivyo hata kama masomo si hali ya juu ilikuwa iko sawa na mimi nilikuwa napenda masomo sana but sasa hiyo hivyo venye nilianza shule yenye nilianza ilikuwa na challenges kwenye nilienda nikasema ah sasa huko niko sawa nimefika mambo itakuwa poa at least nitasoma vizuri so wakati ndani wakati nilifika huko pata watu wameendelea sana na masomo so ilibidi ni mimi nijiharakishe nifikie wengine uh, baada ya hapo nika ingia huko hivyo form 1 i think second time ikisha third time ingia form 2 and there was a teacher mwenye alikuwa alikuwa anatufunza um, Kiswahili yeah um, na bado at the same time alikuwa our coaches Yeah, alikuwa zin, I used to play football. Yeah, so alikuwa yeye alikuwa coach wetu. Uh, alikuwa anakuja anatufunza nini hivyo and all that. So kuna siku aliniita akaniambia Jean, um by the way, wenye tunaendaga kwa field nini the way ukiva hiyo jezi nini? Manzee tu na nice nini mimi, mimi nimekupe? Mimi nimekupenda and from okay goja sasa hizo ulikuwa form 2 yes. coaches ama mwalimu wenu wa Kiswahili akakwambia ukivaa ile jezi ya kucheza huwa una huwa ninamfurahisha hizi ni huwa anafurahia venye niko guys tunaendelea kusikiza hiyo story venye inaendelea na venye imeanza form 2 na mwalimu amemwambia anamfurahisha mhm mm so from there Uh, ikakuwa like mi mi sikuichukulia serious cause obviously kulikuwa na wengine wengi obvious i uh, mean nilikuwa na journey ile tu ile ile mse mse tu anaweza ku compliment hivyo na ni hivyo but as time and days as days go goes by ikakuwa like mambo ikakuwa tofauti like ana saa zingine ana akimaliza aki lesson ananitoa kwa class anakuja ananiambia ati kuna kitu anataka kuniambia nikienda ananiambia ati najua nilikuota usiku ati nilikuota like wewe ni wangu zin, like mpaka ati nataka unizalie mtoto 
So hizo bado uko form 2. Okay. Bado niko form 2. So I used to he kuanda na but siko na react ama kufanya anything. The only people who were close to me my closest friend who were around me when we were together and we were together and we were So after that, it was like I was going to go to class and 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 I was going to go to class Yeah, something like that. So wakati mimi nilianza kulenga stories zake wakati nilianza kukataa maneno yake. Uh, akakuwa sasa like akaanza kuni mistreat kwa shule. Kuna kitabu nyinyi tulikuwa tunahitaji ya ya set book, set book. Yeah. So mimi sikukua nayo. Just because I was among the ones when you kukua nayo, it was very very early in the morning alikuwa amekuja lesson yake and anajuanga at the same time pia na kuanga allergic to cold cause the teachers walikuwa wanajua cause nilikuwa naenda na sweta nyesi ya shule na nilikuwa naambia nisitoe so hiyo asubuhi aka akasema tutoke nje watu wenye hatuna akatupigisha makoti chini kwa simiti na hiyo baridi tukaka hapo hadi wakatalimaliza lesson so after ametoka kwenda kwenda home nikaenda nikaambia my mom tumeulizwa kwa sababu ya kitabu na hivi na hivi ndio venye kuli hapa na akasema hivyo si vizuri akasema atakuja atakuja kuleta complain kwa wa principal shule so ikakuwa ni hivyo tena after that to ku make short kulikuwa na kipindu pindu na kila mtu alikuwa amepatiwa duties kila classes zilikuwa zimepatiwa duties za kuosha cho but because hiyo gonje ilikuwa i think you are not supposed to do that cuz ilikuwa so high at that time ilikuwa juu hiyo gonje so uh, uh, tulikuwa hiyo time tulifunga tumefunga shule alafu tukafungua akasema kama unajua uko na kuja tuition at that time tuition ilikuwa imekataliwa akasema yeye ataitisha tuition and then oh, watu watakuwa naenda na ngoza nyumbani but my mom akasema hiyo hapana so mi siku kwa ninaenda so after tumefungua shule akasema kama unajua uko kuwa na kuja tuition kama unajua hata kulikuja siku moja hizo siku zingine kukuja lazima mpanishiwe tukaitwa kuitwa tukaambia lazima lazima tu washe hizo choo tu watu wengine akaambia usijua watu washe mavarandes in punishment mimi kwa hiyo department ya kwenda kuosha cho mimi nikasema mimi sitaosha. Due to nini hiyo gonjwa mimi I want to do that. So akaleta shida nini nini ati hapana at stream mimi sifaivo. At that time juu ya baridi nilikuwa na ajampa kuna time I collect jampa zote including mine na ilikuwa ni, ni jampa yenye ninafaa kuvaa. The right one ya black. Akachukua zikaenda zikapeanwa. So nikaenda nikaambia my mom ikaleta shida ni so as in alikuwa ana ni street just because mkata. Ya yeah, nilimkata. So hiyo story ikaleta shida sana kwa shule na ikafika to a point my mom akakuja ka complain ikaleta shida sana. So from there singeweza kukaa huko. So nika have tena kukaa nyumbani. Hiyo form 2 ilikuwa second term. Hiyo second term ndio ilikuwa imeanza. Nika nikaenda home nikakaa the whole of second term nyumbani just because my mama kwa anataka nirudi hiyo shule because of the teacher sasa ukupeleka shule nyingine nilika for the whole of second term nyumbani so after that that term ndo nirudi nikaenda shule nyingine iko uko upande wa nyahururu so kondo nilienda form 2 third term alafu sasa nikaendelea sasa na masomo huko hivyo so wakati nilienda huko boarding school And, bado at the same time still bado kimasomo nilikuwa tena bado nyuma 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 kabisa so kila kitu niliangu ilikuwa sasa inaenda pole pole acha venye sasa nilikuwa mind yangu ilikuwa nga active nini hivyo napelekana na na kila kitu venye inaendelea shule sasa nikakuwa slow nilikuwa very slow kwa sababu hiyo muda ni refu na kukata second time of us ndo watu hukava vitabu nini hivyo zizin mumalize mwingetu ana hivyo sasa nilikuwa nyuma sana But sasa sikukuwa na adhawe so nilikuwa tu nakacha pole 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 wakati nilienda hiyo shule nilijua niko sawa kabisa yeah, kulikuwa na a lot of challenges by the way huko that boarding school 
and even nilikuwa nataka hata nirudi tu home ni ni miss kwa zile was didn't comfortable na boarding school cuz sikuwa familiar with it as in na sikuwa like nime nimezoea cuz nilikuwa nimezoea lifestyle ya nimetoka naenda home jioni na rudi hizi natoka naenda shule jioni na rudi hivyo so your life nilikuwa nikiwa ngumu but with the time nilikuja nikaanza kuzoea tu with time but sasa that process is like nilikuwa na joy niko sawa niko sawa nita concentrate na masomo yangu sasa hakuna mali kwenye ninasumbuana huko nikaenda nikapata tena masaibu mengine ala eh hey, masaibu gani hayo tunataka kusikia okay masaibu yenye nilipata ilikuwa bado tu ni masaibu ya kati yangu na mwalimu mwingine ambaye bado tena alikuja tena aka akakuja tena kama huyo mwingine Ah, na alikuwa ananitaka pia. Guys, she must have been a hot kick, but alikuwa mwang. Bado tu imagine akiwa sasa unasema alikuwa form? Nilikuwa na ndo naingia form 3. Okay. Yeah. So, m- m- umetoka ambako ulikuwa, sasa umeenda shule nyingine, umepata umepata tena mwalimu, uh, mwalimu naye amekuwa tena ni masaibu tuelezee masaibu gani uliweza kuyapitia pale kwa shule mpya ambayo uliweza kukwenda Okay mara ya kwanza nilikuwa ninaendelea vizuri lakini wakati niliendelea ikakuwa mambo ni tofauti kuna wakati niliitwa kwa ofisi nikaulizwa shule yenye nilitoka kwa nini nilitoka ni nini ilifanyika hivyo maswali kama hizo So baadaye wakati alimaliza na kumbuka ilikuwa ni preps time mapema hiyo time ya preps ya kitu 5 hapo 5 to 6 ya asubuhi. So wakati alimaliza akaniambia ati na umeshawahi realize ana mtu ashekwambia unakuanga mrembo sana. Nikamwambia eh ninajua. Akanambia ni unasikia aje mtu akikwambia uko mrembo azil uko poa. Nikamwambia nina appreciate So akaniambia bidewe ni msana mrembo sana na uko sawa na mimi nimekupenda. So nikamwambia asante gusi yuko anaichukua kama ni big deal. Mimi nikamwambia asante hivyo na tukamalizana. That time ilikuwa I think ndo tulikuwa tunafanya nini ya that time hiyo kama saa ya kufungua shule mtiani. Kuna papers nilikuwa nikachukua mimi nikarudi nika kwa darasa. So wakati tukiendelea tukiendelea hivyo mambo ikakuwa tofauti like Akinita ananiambia mambo tofauti akinita ananiambia mambo tofauti so siezi mention kila kitu lakini after that kukarudi kukakuwa na some issues with the, the with that teacher and the other nitangwaje na hao walimu wengine and the one mwenye shule aka have kutoka huko so kutoka aka have ku open another school alikuwa anafanya partnership na na someone else so akafungua a new school so i think i, I think it's a quarter of us kuna wenye walihama na yeye and i was one of them <laughs> okay mwalimu wamekosana na amefungua shule yake and uh, umesema a quarter of you ama students so, sana sizijua ni nini iliendelea lakini akatoka mwingine. Okay, sasa amefungua na a quarter of you kaenda shule yake. Kwa nini mlienda shule yake? Okay. Watu walikuwa wanajua he's a good teacher and watu wengi walikuwa wanafunzi wengi walikuwa wanampenda. Na pia mimi nilikuwa najua the same thing. So wakati alienda wazazi we, wale wazazi sasa wazazi wetu wale wenye alishikia sasa ametoka huko na ameenda kwingine na kuna shule amefungua shule mali pingine wakasema ah kama ametoka hivyo sisi tuta sisi sisi tutawapeleka kwa hiyo shule yenye yeye ameenda sasa na pia wazazi walikuwa ame agree nayo so wenye wenye wali agree wakapelekwa so wal, si tukwenda wote wanzo watu walikuwa na hamisho moja 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 hivyo tukaenda to that school it was tulikuwa tunaka freestyle because at that time tulikuwa mbaka na uniform tulikuwa tunaka hivyo wakati uniform ilikuja ilikuwa kama sunday best tulikuwa tunavanga sunday peke yake tukienda kanisa nje alafu tukirudi tunavaa tu zima track suit nini hivyo so after that ikakuwa like sasa mimi naona eh 
nimekuwa na, na so many challenges na masomo yangu like ziko tu yani iko tu na ina stop stop is in just jakwa ni ile mfululizo ya masomo lakini sasa at the same kasema kama ni hivyo maybe nitakachap na maybe mambo itarudi poa ni sawa mimi nikaendelea na masomo yangu kama kawaida sasa after that aka akaanza sasa kukua like sasa anapanga watu zina napata watu duties nini and all that so i was selected as the head girl yeah and then ikakuwa like nilikuwa nilikuwa leader wa CU nilikuwa nimekuwa head girl na nilikuwa prefect of entertainment yeah so nilikuwa na hizo cheo nimepata hizo leadership so tukiendelea nge hivyo so each and everything unajua ikinini iki lazima as the head girl lazima unafikisha uko ofisi ama kitu kitaka kusemwa lazima hizi nitakuwa sasa hapo karibu sasa na the principal nitakuwa hapo karibu so ikakuwa hivyo tukaanza kusoma walimu wakaletwa tukiendelea na masomo tukiendelea na masomo but ikafika to a point sasa ameanza kunionyesha sasa his true colors sasa kuulize aje yule mwalimu ambaye aliweza kufungua shule ndio alikuwa principal ndio oh okay so alitoka huko yes. akuja akajielevate akakuwa principal okay pia ama alikuwa aha uh-huh. alikuwa principal kwenye ile shule mlikuwa ile shule mwenye alikuwa alikuwa principal ndio alikuwa mwalimu wa Kiswahili alisa ni shule mpya body oh okay 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 aya sawa kwa hivyo alitoka pale principal kuja akafungua shule yake baada akakuwa principal na sasa hii umeweza kuwa head girl. Na aha uh-huh, this is getting interesting. Bado walikuwa wamekuambia nakupenda. Okay? So wakati sasa anza kunonyesha true colors zake um akinita kwa ofisi, ananiita, ananiambia nifunge mlango. Alafu anaanza kuniambia vinyana nipenda, ananiambia ananitaka, ananiambia tena nataka zin we do some romance vitu kama hizo. So mimi nilikuwa nakatana kasirika, ninatoka ninaenda kwa darasa. Ninaenda nina lean tu nina kakos. Nilikuwa that time nilikuwa nafia ku with my friends. So ilikuwa tu mimi ndio inaniuliza mwenyewe. So hata nilikuwa like hata kwa darasa nikikaa tunafikiria tu hizo maneno si so kikuja kwa darasa kufunza anafunza lakini ninamwangalia tu ninatingisha kichwa zil sikuwa ninafurahia na hata yeye mwenyewe hakuwaijua kwa sababu sikuwa ninaonyesha lakini mimi ndio mwenye nilikuwa naumia kwa sababu unajua unakutanga sometimes una go through something but una that ile ile that freedom ya kuji express that freedom of expression so and at that time pia mimi sikuwa na that courage ya kujiongea ama niamwe ku So ikakuwa ikaenda hivyo. So juu nilikuwa anga na some conditions, mostly nilikuwa ninagonjeka. So nikigonjeka nika kwa dormitory ninaka huko as in na nilikuwa nikienda huko hivyo ninaenda hata nakaa kama maybe 3 ama 4 days sitoki hadi nisijihisi niko sawa. So wakati ni huko huko hivyo kama kuna lesson ama kama watu wa kwa darasa yeye mwenyewe anakuja anakuja anaanza kunishikashika like namwambia hapana usifanye hivyo nini nini ananiambia hapana namwambia hata na sasa uniambie ukizapata pa hivyo utasema nini so ikakuwa ni hivyo so me because i was like nilikuwa ninaumia na siko nataka kushare nikaanza kukwa sasa nianza kaa as alone ikifika wakati mwingine mchana wakati wa darasa mimi ninatoka ninaenda kwa field nenda na kaa huko hivyo tu yani nilikuwa tu sasa nimeanza kusumbuliwa na mawazo ninafikiria ninafikiria akini akiniita na nuliza ni nini ninamwambia i'm going through something so that's why i just want to be alone i clear my head and then at least maybe nione can't rudi poor so even he never knew that alquaz in it was everything it was because of him So there is a certain teacher mwenye alikuja alikuwa TP akakuja and alikuwa akakuja akakuwa so close kwangu as in not in terms of hizi mambo zingine but alikuwa ananisaidia kimasomo cuz mimi nilikuwa from the story ya masomo yangu imekuanga yeah. so alikuwa ananisaidia at least ku, kuinuka kimasomo ya yeah, kukachap hivi kama hizo 
So akaanza ku notice like nimekuwa like si concentrate wakati like hata akitinkinfunza hivi the next day like still bado tusishigezi na inakuwa hizi nimekakuwa slow lana ile wakati nilikuwa nashika vitu haraka kwa za mafast lana ikakuwa like sasa nimekuwa slow lana aka notice akanuliza there is something inakusumbua and maybe kama uko uko na unaweza ongea maybe you can talk about it nikamwambia don't know where to start and i don't know how i can tell you but sijui kama naweza kuambia whatever i'm going through kaza na pana this thing in a serious and you have to share cuz if you don't then iwe ndio mwenye utaumia na utakuta uta nini na masomo uta concentrate na masomo so mimi nikamwambia wacha wacha ni kai kwanza chini nifikirie alafu nikipata hiyo courage for sure nitakuja nikwambie akasema ni sawa so akakaa sawa so, hata akikuja class alikuwa tu bado tu ananya understand na venye iko so hata ikikuanga like akipeana kazi kama hivyo venye mtu useme unapeana assignment unaanguka siko gapanisha alikuwa tu ananiita kando anatemenye watu wako free ananiita ananifunza hivyo sasa kuendelea tu jumi nilisana nyamaze kwanza nione nione venye mambo iko ikakuwa was ikakuwa like juu kuna a room kwenye yeye alikuwa analala alikuwa sasa mimi na a friend of mine alikuwa anatuambia tunaenda tunamfanyia usafi sasa kwa ofisi plus kwenye analala nafanyia ofisi so kuna wakati nilikuwa huko hivyo nimeenda mimi nilikuwa nimeenda peke yangu my friend alikuwa ametoka ameendea sijui ni bedsheet ama ni maji ya kuosha alikuwa ametoka so mimi juu nilikuwa huko hivyo nina spread bed akaingia akakuja kama amenishika ya akakuja akaingia kama amenishika nikamuliza what are you doing akaniambia hapana si nini just do the favor at just kiss me and then i will go nikamwambia i can't do what you are asking akasema hapana at it's not a big deal you just do it so mimi nikamwambia ah mimi sizi fanya venye unataka aka insist aka insist ame nikamwambia pana so the good thing my friend akakuja saka so, jifanya alikuwa anafanya tu vitu alafu akatoka akaenda a uh, principal alikuwa anataka umkiss ukakataa and then uh, rafiki yako akakuja akajifanya akaenda yeah akaenda so after hapo hivyo kila jioni alikuwa lazima ngeni italafu jo alikuwa anajua like jumi na kuanga na conditions nyingi sometimes kwa mara nyingi siko nakula chakula shule nilikuwa na nilikuanga na pack ya, ya maziwa na nenda na nunua samandazi huko kwa canteen hivyo so kila kila break tea break alikuwa ananiita ananiambia every day nikichukua chai ninaenda ninachukua na na the mandazi so he was the one mwenye alikuwa nailipia So kikuwa na ema kama ni food ama kama ni chai yako nayo alikuwa ananitia kwa ofisi ananipatia na ulikuwa unakunywa eh ala ala so mm-hmm. yeah it was is it mean nilikuwa tunaenda tu hivyo akasema watu wakaanza kusema hey be there you are so special when ndio mwenye unit yango vitu mzuri mzuri and come me better nyimu kikoa azuri pia nyimu mtakao mnaitiwa then yeah it was just like siko naona vizuri because it was i was free with it so from there hadi nikiwaanga like shopping nikinishia na nitoa na nipeleke nje ya shule hivyo kama ni kitu yenye nilikuwa ninataka ama nilikuwa stressed out ananichukua na nipeleke nje ya shule hivyo so me okay uh, siko na take kama is in something nilikuwa naona it's normal true yeah so from there kakuwa like kila jioni kila jioni mara nyingi jioni ananiita kuna place tulikuwa na jikoni hapo huko ulikuwa na tank nyingine kubwa alikuwa ananitianga alikuwa anataka hapo hivyo kwenye hiyo tank Anita sasa alikuwa anataka hizi nile to romance ni nini because i used to feel so bad any back and i feel like any gonna feel as it as in kana is a scream but ile tuku ile ku, ku nini ile jistaki kuchoma na istaki like iko like ni another trauma maybe the just kurika hiyo kiza sikikana hadi shule za funga ni itakuwa like me affect dia wengine so mimi nilikuwa tu najinyamazia So ikakuwa ni hivyo ikaenda hivyo. Sometimes alikuwa sasa ikakuwa tu a point ananiita kwa ananiita kwa ofisi ananiambia come to my office there is something I want to show you. So akini akiniambia hivyo mimi ninaenda. Nienda ananiambia close that door kama kawaida tu. <laughs> Ana ninakaa hapo hivyo kwa kwa kiti yamekaa hapo hivyo kwa hapo hivyo sasa kwa kiti yake. 
anaambia I want to show something nika so nika nikasema ni sawa and na nikachukua nikachukuanga simu and wakati nilienda kutanisha hivi simu I was so surprised kwa sababu Kenya nilikuwa na expect nione ilikuwa so different na Kenya niliona yeah niliona nini nilikuwa na expect nini mimi nilikuwa nafikiria maybe anataka kunionyesha maybe something new ama kit something as in something new ama maybe kuna kitu nyata kutonyesha as in vitu za masomo yeah so mimi sikuwa nafikiria maybe kuna anything else yenye nina kwa kuona Ali, okay hiyo picha yenye alikuwa ni picha yeah hiyo picha alikuwa alikuwa yenye alikuwa ananyonyesha ilikuwa his private part yeah so i felt so bad and nikarudisha and nikasema sitaki hata kuona kanambia nini ati hapa not sijui na step we we talk about it i i say me akwe exposed nikamwambia hapana nikamwambia if you are if you are thinking of doing something like that maybe i think i wish i wish i could have not told you my story but akaniambia okay if you don't want to expose him then just leave it and there was a case yeah a friend of mine alikuwa form 2 so that time come fika form 4 alikuwa form 2 yeye hey, ilimhapenia kama hiyo pia pia ya yeah, alikuwa pia yanamsumbua kuna wakati alikuwa kwa doma kwa anajisikia vizuri akaenda so the girl said alikuwa anajari alikuwa ati anataka kumprep so she is the one who knows if it was like that so ika akaambia aka, i don't know if it is the aunt or the mom after amemwambia ikaleta shida sana na alikuwa alikuwa sasa astakiwe and then hata shule zinaanza sasa shule tena fungwa astakiwe but sasa wakaichezea wakacheza tu chini nini nini the very very same day the aunt and the girl walikuja wakapa kila kitu yake and the girl went na hivyo ndivyo vanya litoka hiyo shule so wakati hiyo story zenye nakwambia hizo za everything akini sharp is private pass akini ni ni parts akiniambia hizi vitu zingine zin like romancing and nakuja na nishika by force and ni force ni mkisi zana anatumia force so 
hiyo at that time ilikuwa ni time ya form 4 watu wameenda home Wame, watu wamefunga shule watu wameenda home so wajua harvest time ya KCC form 4 au kwaenda home so sisi tulibaki shule and that time jusi tulikuwa anga jee that ni school tulikuwa wachache hata tulifanya exam tulikuwa registered to another school so tulikuwa wachache kulikuwa like freedom nini hakuna anything hakuna sorry and all that so hapo ndalipata freedom ya kunifanyia Kenya anataka but Kenya si kwa allow it him taking advantage of me so it was so bad ilifika to a point ananifanyia yake ataki kuja na kuja tu anakuja na force ananiambia nataka ni mkiss anataka like ni nimshike his nini so but mimi nilikuwa like ninakataa like ikakuwa so hard for me and like hiyo na hivyo ndo vanya nilikuwa like nilikuwa tu ninakaa like niko tu hapo hivyo but mawazo yangu ilitokaga na ikaendaga kitambo so i was so depressed i was suffering from depression at that time and of which no one alikuwa anielewa my mom used to kasirika cuz mostly nilikuwa naendaga home hata sometimes kuna fake ugonjwa but hakuwa na jani ku fake ya kwa jani ni serious ndio nilikuwa na conditions twingi so nikiendaga home hizo nimekuwa nikienda nyingi mara nyingi mara nyingi niko to home just because siko anataka nikae hapo and nilikuwa nafikiria nikienda nirudi I'll be okay but things zikaenda zikikuwa hivyo zikaenda zikikuanga was and hata kifika ni time ya, ya exam me I just wanted to do my exam aliweza kufanya usipite mtihani yeah. ili kuaffect sana. Yeah, ili ni affect. So mimi ndo nilikuwa ninaumia na hakuna mtu mwenye alikuwa anajua. Okay. Sasa as a victim what would you tell girls of your age when you want to the same? Mimi naweza kuambia ukiona kitu inakufanyikia yenye si mzuri mtu anakufanyia kitu yenye si mzuri 
usinyamazie talk about it and make sure imefikia mtu mwenye unataka ifikie usikuwa unanyamazie kama ni kama ni mtu anaku anakumistreat kama ni mtu ana take advantage of you and then like as a lady make sure you talk about it kwa sababu ukinyamazia hapo ndo kwenye unakuta imekuwa imekuja mambo inakuja na kuwa inakuwa wasi mimi maybe kama ningesema mapema maybe at, at that time Yes maybe mambo ingekuwa mbaya kwa shule lakini maybe inge, inge, inge stop. Ya yeah, ingekuwa better at least better. But sasa juni nyamazia zikakuje kakuwa na niwas na ikakuwa na ni hivyo hata sikuwa nataka story na masomo. My mind ilikuwa nifanye exam nitoke shule. So naona ile effect sio hata sikuwa na concentrate on my exams and nikaanguka like so ukikuwa like kuna kitu tu yenye una go through please my fellow ladies talk about it. Yeah. Wow. What an inspiring story. Maze history me niguza sana and uh, I can relate na watu ambao ama watoto wa kike ambao hupitia hii situation. Wengine wao hawataweza kuongea sababu wanaogopa. Tumeweza kusikia mambo ambayo gender wamboi ameweza kupitia na kwa kweli it's so touching and asante kwa kujitolea kushare hii story because kuna watu ambao wanatuwatch huko nje their parents uh, their young girls ambao wanapitia hiyo and uh, nimeshukuru sana kwa kukubali kushare story asante sana na uko na wakati mwema Aya. so guys tumeweza kusikia hiyo story ya gender wa mboi na ni inauma sana ama ni kitu cha kuhuzunisha sana ambapo tunaona wasichana wetu wa kike wanatumiwa na wale ambao wanafaa kuongoza kama wewe ni mzazi create a personal relationship with your child kama ni mtoto wa kike ama awe wa kike ama wa kiume tafadhali create that personal relationship na mtoto wako ili unajua mambo ambayo yanapitia useme ati mtoto amekuwa mkubwa ameenda high school ako form 1 form 2 au form 4 ufikirie ati hawezi pitia mashida talk to that child make him or her your best friend wa kuambia mambo ambayo anapitia na pia wakati mwingine pia wewe mzazi jaribu kufanya research vile mtoto wako anaendelea mambo ambayo watoto wanapitia unafaa uyajue na pia kama wewe ni mtoto pale una, unaona hii mambo tunajua siku hizi si watoto wa kike peke yake wanaweza kudhulumiwa kimapenzi kuna hata vijana wanaweza kudhulumiwa kimapenzi So kama wewe unapitia yale mambo chukua jukumu ambia mzazi wako na kama mzazi wako unaona analegea enda pale kwa polisi ushtaki na utaweza kushughulikiwa it's for your safety kwa hivyo sisi wote tushikane mikono ili tuweze kufanya this society a better place na ni hayo tu kwa sasa na kama uje subscribe kwenye channel yetu tafadhali subscribe na kama kawaida unijendi na peace